None of what you're about to see and hear is real. I just came out of my house. I don't know what happened. But you wouldn't know it, and it's just the way paramedic educator Richard Estep likes it. There is an old military axiom. The more you sweat in training, the less you bleed in battle. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah. The training program at Rural Metro Ambulance is known as the most realistic and stressful training in Colorado. It's designed to be stressful. It's easy to train in a classroom. It's easy to verbalize things and tell students what they see. But there's no substitute for actually seeing the blood flowing, for seeing pale patients, for hearing screaming. <laughs> Scenarios ranging from heart attacks to multi-vehicle fatal car crashes in living color designed to expose the rookie EMT to real-life trauma. <laughs> Props included. We have fractures, lacerations, an extruded eyeball, a mannequin for placing breathing tubes in children, and a placenta that goes with our delivery mannequin for simulated childbirth. Of course, icing on the cake is fake blood. A lot of fake blood. Oh! Rural Metro Ambulance employs over 300 EMTs. All have been through the grueling two-week reality training, like EMT Jennifer Neal. That's the majority of what our jobs are, is finding that stress and being calm in that stress. And the more we're prepared for that stress, the better we're going to do. Okay, right, cut. Baby's free. It's gruesome, stressful, and very realistic. Skills which someday may save your life. Dan DeRue, Fox 31 Denver. Did you see any 